Hi there, everybody. This is Amber Johnson. Here, I've got to fix my phone here. I had to prop it up, so forgive me. This is my sacred tree in the back. The one I talk about all the time about doing sacred Sunday circles. This little guy right here, when you touch him, he feels very dry. And um, when me and my girlfriend were brought our kids here and stuff and started um, this group underneath this tree, um, we realized that by us healing, we also in turn heal the planet and this tree. I'm about ready to put a sign up on it that says, hug me <laughs> and just leave it here. So when the people here come with their kids and they're feeding the ducks and the geese, you know, they can come over here and just, you know, you just got to touch it. See, just touch it. Mother Nature's a beautiful thing. I have all my stones here, just so you guys know. And for all of you out there that like to judge because of certain traditions or religious factors, just remember that all this stuff, it comes from Mother Earth, okay? It does come from the ground. It is actually part of the Earth. Same with sage. So if you got some stones, seriously, these things really have some energy in them, and they help with healing. And I've got all of mine. This right here, this is my amethyst. Isn't it beautiful? I've got, I think this one's sodalite. This one's very good for anxiety and stress, by the way. It's like a worry stone. I carry it in my pocket all the time when I feel stressed out and worried. And it helps soothe my energy. This is my new quartz crystal. This one aligns all the chakras. Like just holding it, having it in your presence, um, is soothing to the soul, to your soul. And of course, you can play with them with your chakras and align them, which is what I've been working on too. I'm getting a lot of hit ups these days about uh, me doing work um, on people with healing. Um, I heal with my hands. I warm. They warm up. They heat up, and I just touch someone, and bam! It's like. Melted butter. <laughs> um, so how you guys doing? I um, am going to be putting up the flyers here soon. I started my flyers, and I got them in my computer. I just have to print them up. And then I'm going to start handing them out to you guys here in Tucson to welcome you to Sacred Sunday Circles. The battle that I've been having has just been getting my life together and finding time for me like today, I took it upon myself to just get my butt up and come out here to read Park. Ooh, the wind. See? Confirmation. Um, I just have to get the flyers printed up, and then I'm going to start handing them out. Uh, so, like I said, the thing that's been keeping me up from uh, doing this has actually been committing to an actual time. Most people are at church, you know, like I, myself, I've been going to church with my children from 11 to 1 over at Victory Worship. And so that kind of leaves the door closed to a lot of people that are coming down to join us. Um, so I figure between 2 and 6 or 3 to 7, right here in this spot, we'll be meeting up. Um, it was also come to my attention that some of the girls would like to do AA groups maybe here um, as part of the group. Um, got yoga, meditation, all kinds of things we could be doing. Oh, and feeding the ducks. Art, drawing. I've been actually doing a lot of little doodles, let me see. I can show you something. This is just one of my pieces. I actually got it out. And then recently, I got my book. I got this at Bookman's the other day. Um, it's actually a spiritual guide to uh, recovery. But it's based on the 12 steps. And it's actually a little workbook. And then my big book. Now, I went to find a book, and this is the big book, but it's also got big lettering. I found my sponsor. 
Um, and one of the main things is to get the book, read about the first step, and I'll be meeting up with her Sunday, probably, either here or at the uh, Black Crown Copy to go over the first step to begin my whole entire journey in my own recovery, which I've been avoiding for all my life. Got my little coloring books. No books. A lot of kids and stuff running around here. Try not to be too loud. In this book, I have some of my poetry that I've been writing. <clears throat> I actually put a bunch of this poetry into my computer, and I'm putting together like a little book. I'm going to be taking it to a publisher here soon. I like to get little notebooks, and I write in them. This one is actually uh, for the beginning of my next book that I started. I'm more focused on self-help and healing and how I've gotten through trauma, how I've coped with um, suicide, uh, coped with um, addiction, how I've coped through domestic violence, um, and yeah. So welcome to my page. Welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> A shout out to my children, Jake, Sally, and Marissa. I love you. And I hope you're watching this, of course. I miss you guys every day. And one day, Daddy will let you come out here and join me. It is not dangerous. Uh, let me show you guys a little bit. Here's the zoo, or the park, sorry. Here's the duck pond. This is the man-made one. A lot of them are sleeping right now, as you can tell. There's one of them standing up. And then over here, we have the old duck pond. On that corner over there is around that corner is actually the Reed Park Zoo. I'll be doing the application um, to get you guys some discounted rates for the zoo itself. I actually handed out some apples to some of the kids here to feed the animals. Let me put this back down. What's your fairy? Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's a work in progress. Yeah, Are still are. Yeah, I know, huh? <laughs> make this line a little straighter. It's gonna be there forever. Well, I told the guys uh, that I wanted to do a mural. They told me to put my kids on there first. Oh, okay. So I found um, two fairies that are little kids, yeah. like facing each other. I have to come up with the money for that one. Yeah, of course. That, that'd be free, right? That. Yeah, I cleaned all that out so it would make all the That's water so nice. flow. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Cool everybody's yeah. All right. Would you like an apple? I, I come with a lot of good food for the ducks and the geese and stuff. Yeah, they love say, apples. Uh, Hold on a minute. Right yeah, I'm starting a, a group right here oh, cool. on Sundays to teach my kids and everybody else about uh, the animal stuff. A day in the park is what it's called. Really? Uh -huh. Thank you. Yeah, the, those big geese, the white ones, they actually love the apples. Get out of here. Um, you guys can bring oatmeal. Um,
like the tree we found, though. This tree is very old. Can't hurt them. Yeah, I have three kids myself. It's not about Exactly. Yeah, it is. That's why we keep around. Well, the zoo doesn't have any access to the animals to come out and study, but yeah. they said that they can get with this kind of way to stand because they brought some stuff to the zoo. Oh, really? Right. So, yeah. That'd be Check us out for a lot of time. We're trying like to that. figure out a time, though. Oh, okay. Uh, we're at church. We're at this. I know. Three to seven. Two to six. That is a hard one. Two to six, probably. Yeah. Said it's more no, about the community. My kids are like, no one showed up. I'm like, keep on coloring. Know, it doesn't we matter. Color. It's, it's just open to sure. anything. I tell people, you can come for five minutes, you can come for an hour, it doesn't it's matter. Okay. Just show up, be with yeah. nature. Oh, yeah. Bye. Bye. We can eat your apple. Yeah. <laughs> he likes to bang on yeah, stuff. Oh, yeah. Wow. I'm sure you guys heard all that conversation. This gentleman said he's ready to come back and join us on Sundays. Uh, he said 2 to 4, 2 to 6. That would be great. So it looks like I found my time. And uh, the little boy, he's throwing sticks and everything else. Look, this is Malachi and Reuben. These are the guys that I was just talking to. He liked my back piece. <laughs> got all kinds of people around here. Hey, I got my food. This has blueberries, has walnuts, and figs in here all mixed together. My fingers are turning blue. It's another thing, healthy eating. Think about it, guys. All you have to do is go on Google and look up Healthy food for ducks and geese. And you'll see a whole list of healthy food that you can bring to the park and start feeding them healthy. Did you know that it is very bad for these animals to be eating bread, crackers, popcorn, all the stuff that I grew up feeding these guys. And if it weren't for my friend who said, you want to kill all the animals and everything else, and I'm like, wait, 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 wait. No, of course I don't want to kill them you go ahead so I just googled it and now I bring it I have my oatmeal I have some greens I have apples the swans love these apples by the way so anyway you're gonna have to stay tuned for my group community group here at Reed Park on Sundays from 2 to 6 with sacred Sunday circles this is the sacred tree and if you look it literally has a ring all the way around its roots that connect right there. See why I like it? Yep. Yeah. And here we are. This is the man-made duck pond that was never here. Then over there is the other duck pond. Oh look, the train. And over there is the zoo calling it a day in the park. Seriously, all it is, you come out here with your kids just like you would enjoy any type of day. Bring your friends, bring your family, bring your animals, bring some healthy food, and join me, Amber Johnson, with Helping the Good People for our Sunday group, Sacred Sunday Circles. Going down now. <laughs> Look at me, I'm so happy. It's such a beautiful day. Get out and enjoy yourself. This is me being real, just talking and doing my thing. Not bothering anybody. Going forward with my own healing. Healing through trauma. And in turn, healing Tucson. All it is is energy, love, and giving back. That is it. There is no other part to this journey of mine except for self-care, self-love, and giving back. Much love to you. Blessings, Amber Johnson.